let's get started. Um, so, man, I don't really have a plan for this, or uh, I have an agenda, but there's no like plan, so bear with me. But essentially, hey, if you're at school right now, pay attention to school. It's important. But um, so I did the Japan thing, right? Um, that didn't work out. Um, and then I came back and tried doing the Drifting Across America tour, which was a hell of an adventure. I really enjoyed like the content that we made, but the videos just didn't hit. Um, but essentially, kind of what's going on, I, I got in a, a huge funk um, after I got back from the tour. I just There's still like two unreleased videos um, that explain a little bit more. Um, but I, I've been like, really, really depressed the last couple of weeks. Um, I just don't know how to make this YouTube thing work. Now, there's some positivity coming, so just bear with me. But uh, I, I didn't, I, I've tried so many different things. Like I've tried the comedy videos, like for those of you who have been around for a while, um, I've, I did all these different video concepts before mainly doing sim drifting and reacts and vlogs. Um, but we, we finally figured out uh, thank you for telling me the tour was fun to watch. Um, that makes me happy. It just it didn't reach out. But um, what what happened is I basically created like multiple audiences. So there are a few of you probably the one of the those of you that are watching this stream are probably these viewers where like you don't care what I make. You enjoy all of it, and I appreciate you guys so much. But generally, with YouTube, uh, viewers come in and they want to watch one type of video, whether it's reacts um, or builds or drifting vlogs, or this or that. Um, and so that was kind of the problem that I created for myself by have, having what you'd call like a variety channel. I know this is kind of techie, so bear with me guys, but you know, Haugen Racing as a main channel, it had all these different things going on. Um, and most people that come here, uh, like the general audience, let's say, they wanna watch just one of those things. Um, and so I tried making Hogan Racing just vlogs, but vlogs are really expensive because they required me to go out and actually go drifting and um, or build a car, which I really can't do and spend a lot of money and time to make these things. And I'll be honest, I don't think I know the best way to do these vlogs and that's kind of why they haven't worked. Reacts, um, I do those really, really well. We put those on a second channel, um, Hogan Reacts for those who don't know but I wasn't able to do the reacts while I was on the road doing the vlogs. Um, and so I really got to a point where I was just like, I don't know how to make this thing work. I'm completely out of money. I can't go back to Japan. Um, I need new support out there. And it's just, there's too many unknowns, like learning a new language, COVID's still a factor over there. Um, finding a new shop, it's, it's, it's just, I wasn't able to do it. Cause I mean, if Haugen Racing was like solid and I was making good money and had some stability there, then maybe. Um, but I just went in too far, you know? So um, yeah, so Sim is still in Japan. I see someone said something like that. I'm trying to figure out how to get my stuff back right now. It's kind of a nightmare. But um, essentially where I'm at, let's make this a little more positive. Um, Cause I am getting re-inspired and I'm re-positive. I'm actually joining this like, YouTube program um, and it helps basically uh, helps you launch channels or relaunch channels because I feel like I'm missing some knowledge and some skills um, on how to do this YouTube thing successfully and I want to give myself the best chance to make this thing successful going forward and so you guys are going to see some changes there is going to be content coming out it's going to be probably another I might throw out a couple videos, but until we're back really consistent, it's probably going to be like six to eight weeks. Um, and I'm going to start with reacts and that's going to be on the reaction channel. So um, I know a lot of you love the vlogs, but I have to figure out the best way to make this thing successful now and get revenue coming in so I can build back a team. Um, side note, my editor, Aaron, um, he's gone now. I don't really want to be negative on that or anything like that, but um, he's no longer with the channel. Um, and so I don't have anybody here, you know, like um, I let go of Jameson, my full-time mechanic before I went to Japan um, and Aaron's gone now as well. And so it's, and I can't afford to keep them around anyways right now. So 
focus on the reaction channel, get that going. I'm gonna get the sim back here. Um, that will come a couple months down the road where I get a sim channel going as well. We'll launch a sim channel and do that. I'm gonna really focus on building up those two channels um, because when I do that, then I can take those I can take the revenue from those and the resources I've built and the knowledge I've built through this program that I'm gonna go through to then go and do vlogs and get back into real life drifting. Um, I think it's just, I yes, are you still friends with Aaron? I, I, I believe so, like there's no bad feelings. It just, yeah. Um, and so it's, I, I've tried the vlog thing, right? Like I tried going to Japan, I tried doing this and that, tried doing builds, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing with those. I've, I've tried a lot, but it's it's kind of like the definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result, right? There's something missing. There's a gap in my knowledge and my skill set. So um, I just didn't want to leave you guys in the dust because I felt bad. There's been a lot of downtime for like, I don't know, I think it's been three weeks since I posted a video. Um, and I just, I just wanted to fill you guys in. So that's kind of what this was all about. But... I'm still here um, and I've just been taking a little bit of time to myself. I was like super depressed for a couple of weeks and now I'm just kind of trying to get myself back mentally and physically healthy. Um, but I really want to, I really want to give myself a chance to, to not fail again and succeed. And so that means focusing on the reacts, then the sim drifting channel and then vlogs later down the line. Um, I don't think like, to be honest with you guys, I don't feel like it's going to be that much time. Um, it is kind of drifting off season in a way as well. Like uh, Formula Drift US just ended. Um, I think FD Japan has one last event. Uh, but generally, this is kind of the off season for drifting in the winter. So my hope would be um, that you know by spring we're starting to do some vlogs again, and I have some decent revenue coming in, or at least next summer. So. That's kind of where I'm at. Um, I want to open it up to questions. Like I know you guys have been dropping some questions, but I'm gonna scroll back a little bit and look at some questions and answer them. But I just want to address you guys and not leave you guys in the dust. I know not everybody's gonna see this, unfortunately, but um, I, you guys do mean a lot to me and a lot of you have been so supportive. So the last thing I want to do is just leave you guys in the dust and not address it. I was gonna do like some recorded video, but I thought this would be just more natural and better to just kind of go off the off the dome piece and then allow you guys to ask me some questions. Why don't you go back to pro spec instead? Wouldn't it be less expensive than Japan Pro One? Um, I like I really don't have the money to even do pro spec right now. Like I don't really have the money to do much drifting at all right now. And so, and the other thing with that, um, even if I did. I've been trying these different vlogs where I'm going and drifting, where I'm going and competing, and uh, they're not working for me. And so I don't know what the problem is. I don't know how to fix it. I've been losing my mind for like, basically we had really good traction up until last January about, um, and then it's just been kind of downhill since then. And I've been trying my best, losing my mind, trying to fix it. But I think at this point, like I said, I want to go through this program um, and then, come back with more of a plan and more infrastructure to do those vlogs correctly. Um, which with competition, <clears throat> um, it's not, I mean, Formula Drift is not like NASCAR Formula One. It's not a money-making activity. Um, and so for me, it would be a content generator and something I really enjoy, but I, I don't want to do that until the time's right, I guess is what I'm saying. But I absolutely want to compete. Like that's, this whole YouTube thing started because I wanted to be out drifting. So I don't know when, but I want to compete. I absolutely do. I want the chance to just um, really be able to do it because I, I haven't had that chance. Um, how, let's see. Someone asked, how old do I have to be to work for you? Um, I do want to address that. Like I am going to be looking for people helping with curating reaction content um, as well as editors. So before all of you start like messaging me, I, I need people that have experience doing this. Um, either you have your own YouTube channel and you're good at finding content or you're a creator yourself, maybe a smaller creator. Um, that's, I, I need people that have these skills already. I can't afford to train anyone. So 
Um, stay tuned for that. But if you're if you're watching this and you're like a pretty sick editor, uh, do feel free to reach out to me. Um, okay, going through questions real quick. Do sim drifting every night on Twitch? So that is one that I, I want to tie that in. That is one of the things that um, I've I've learned because I, I already started this program. It's like I'm gonna focus on YouTube. I was doing trying to do a lot of stuff on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, all that stuff. I've been thinking about doing Twitch, but I'm gonna focus on YouTube. Uh, maybe down the road when I get some more help and infrastructure, we can do some of those other platforms again. Sim drifting on YouTube. Um, I'm definitely open to that, like, cause that stays on the same platform. So that would be that'd be pretty freaking cool. The the kind of the thing with the sim drifting and YouTube or the sim drifting and the reacts is I can do them. I'm back on my home at my parents' house. I can do them out of this garage, like very easily. It doesn't cost a lot of money. Um, <clears throat> so that that's kind of the theory with that. Uh, will the old sim drifting videos come back? Yeah, that's kind of the thing. Like, um, I want to do them differently though. Like some did work. But I need to kind of identify what entertains you guys and what will really grow the channel. But starting with the Reacts channel. Um, but yeah, I mean, feel free to drop questions. I don't know. This is my first time being online, so I don't even know how many people are on here. Oh my gosh, Lucas. You didn't have to do that. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, that really means a lot. Um, someone said make a Patreon. So we do have channel memberships. Um, I've talked about that a little bit, but it's only three bucks a month. Um, I did that instead of a Patreon because you actually get some perks with the channel memberships. Um, did you sell the Mercy? No, I still have the Mercy Lago, but the clutch is out on it and it's like 25 grand to replace. And again, it's not producing, I'm not producing any content with it. So that's kind of why I'm just letting it chill. Um, thank you again, Lucas. Have you ever thought about going to any Cletus McFarland events? Um, yeah, I mean, that would be sick. But again, that's like, like just to put it in perspective, you guys, like on this drifting tour from event to event, um, when I was driving like from one state to another and I'm like, let's say I'm driving like 10 hours in the day, I'm spending like $600 in fuel in that day. So <clears throat> it takes me like 30 hours to get to Florida probably. Just one way is probably about two grand in fuel. Um, that might be slightly high, but it's gonna be damn close. So it's eventually, yes, eventually like we'll have more resources and I'll know how to do the vlogs uh, better and it'll make sense, but that's kind of why. Plus I plugged the merch. <laughs> you guys are doing a better job promoting than I am. Um, I do have a merch website, but I, the thing is I've been tired of like asking you guys for like all this help and money. It's like, I want you to feel um, that you're like, man, this is worth it. And I want to do this rather than me just like, I, I'm not a beggar, you know? And so right now I'm not putting out any content, so I don't expect anything. Um, have you ever thought about doing more collab videos with other car influencers? I've talked about this some, but maybe some of you guys haven't seen it, but it's like, I really wanted to build my own brand and not become, um, not become like a carbon copy of someone else. Like I've seen a lot of people do collabs. Uh, thank you guys, stream's good, appreciate it. Um, I've seen a lot of people do collabs and to me, this is my perspective, I always look at them as just like one of that bigger channel's kind of minions or like a carbon copy of them. And so it's like, I really wanna create Hogan Racing as like our own community and our own identity. So the other thing is, uh, I don't think collabs have the impact that they used to like some years back yeah the collabs were monstrous but i just don't feel like they have the impact that they do anymore i mean done really well maybe but this is really random but someone said ever thought about crypto i do have crypto that's that's definitely i'm just kind of saving on those it's like my plan z if everything else fails <laughs> uh do you have any footage from no star bash yes like that's one of the that's one of two vlogs that's still just chilling um, cause I don't have an editor right now. And I, I think I'll find someone to edit those and release them at some point. But right now it's kind of like, I want to build up this reactions channel, then do the sim drift channel, make this really methodical and also not kill myself doing it. Like, um, yeah. Are you bringing the R32 back to the U S? Uh, yeah, I'm working on getting everything back right now. I didn't do it right away cause I was trying to figure out if there was still a chance of doing FD Japan this year. Um, but <clears throat> it's, I mean, the season's pretty much over. So and if, if there was a chance we do it next year, I'll just ship it back. But I, I don't see that happening. I feel like 
it's going to take me like a year to kind of get all this back going. I think we'll be drifting next year, but maybe just stuff like the tour. Um, we'll see. And also, honestly, I don't, I don't have the skills yet, but I'm more interested in Drift Masters. I don't know if any of you on here watch Drift Masters, but I think that series is so freaking sick. And I love those tracks way more than the US or the Japan tracks. So that's kind of, it's not in goal territory right now because I don't think they'd let me in. I'm not, I don't have the repertoire for that yet, but um, that would be on my list for sure. Oh my gosh, we just got, thank you David Herman so much. You guys are, I, that means a lot. Like I'm just sitting on here talking to you guys. So thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, everybody likes Drift Masters. Like I, I don't know. I feel like I'd have to do like BDC or IDC first um, and then I could like get into Drift Masters. But one of the things with Drift Masters is I like the tracks more and also, yes, everyone's speaking different languages, but fortunately for me, the common uh, second language is English. So I feel like that would be easier to navigate than in Japan. So um, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, everybody's freaking out about the judges. I'm so torn on the FD judges thing. Like, I really, I, I like Formula Drift, but um, I don't think their judging is necessarily bad. This is like a, a, we're going on something else here, but I just don't think that, I, I don't know. It's just, like the viewers and the judges just are not on the same thing. And even with the drivers sometimes. So yeah, it is, it's definitely a mess. And I, I, I hate to see all the, like the, the comments about the judging and like people are like, I'm done watching it. Like that upsets me because I feel like FD has something going. I mean, they obviously do, but yeah, Let, let's move on. Are you going to do any local car shows? I mean, I don't know. Like, to be honest, like I am, uh, I'm kind of, I'm, I am, I'm burnt out right now. Like I'm at, at like total burnout. And so I think right now I want to like focus on my health physically and mentally have some social life like hang out with friends and do some like normal human being stuff and just really hyper focus on this class that i'm going to get in for youtube and this uh the sim drifting channel and then i mean if something comes up and it sounds fun and i'm, I'm feeling motivated then yeah but like it wouldn't be for content or anything like that um someone asked what happened yeah some of you guys are maybe like confused i just wanted to come on and talk about basically since Japan and the Drifting Across America tour and kind of what's going on. Cause I haven't been posting videos for like a couple weeks now. The Reacts channel, I stopped posting videos like I think two months ago. Um, and so I just, I just want to tell you guys what's going on and keep you guys in the loop. Cause yeah, you guys do really mean a lot to me. Will you be building any more cars? Builds have never done well for me. Um, I, I think I'm a good car builder. I love building and, and uh, designing cars, but as far as YouTube goes, I haven't been able to get builds kicked. So maybe in the future, like I said, um, I'm going through this class that helps, um, helps me learn a lot more skills for YouTube. And so then maybe we can do builds in the future once I have more resources and, and the knowledge to make those videos better. So, um, Best way to contact you for editing? Yeah, so I mentioned this earlier. Um, I am looking for editors, but guys, you ha this has to be like your job, like you edit YouTube videos. Um, I don't wanna want anyone that I have to train or needs training. Um, I just don't have the time or resources for it. But if you wanna contact me, uh, my email is on the website, so that would be, that would be the best way to do it. Um, let's see, oh. God, you guys are too freaking generous. Thank you, Drew. I really appreciate you, man. Um, I, I feel so weird about donations because I'm like, please go buy merch, then you actually get something. But thank you, thank you so much. What's your favorite vehicle you own? Oh, man, probably the R34, dude. That's like my dream car. I'm like a total Tokyo Drift like fanboy and Fast and Furious fanboy. Um, I it's just a dream to be able to be drifting that car. It's so savage. <laughs> I love it. Um, let's see, looking through questions again. You're gonna compete in VDC. I'm gonna prioritize content. And so, I mean, I don't, I don't, 
I don't think those are good content videos, um, like making videos from VDC, but if I have time and um, we could do VDC, then yeah, I've, I've, I've always wanted to do VDC. I think it'd be so freaking fun. Um, let's see, ever thought about selling the Lambo? I mean, yeah, if it meant that, if that was the only way like I could keep the channel going, like I needed the money, then yeah, but um, it's such a dream car for me and like a dream build and it means a lot to me. Like I, I wanna hold on to it as, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I wanna hold on to it as much as I can, you know? David, thank you so much. You guys, I, I don't know why you guys are all donating. <laughs> thank you so much. That really means a lot. Um, let's see. Why did you choose to do the tour instead of Drift Week? I feel like you could have made more connections with Drift Week. I'll be honest with you guys, like, I feel like Drift Week is kind of like a clout contest. Um, I I know that you guys find it entertaining and it's cool to see all the creators get together and there are some really good people there, but I, yes, I'm a YouTuber, but I don't know, man, like, I just want to go and like have fun and, and be around like my friends and stuff. And I'm sure some of those people may, may become my friends or whatever. I know some of the guys there, but I just don't like how it's set up and ran. Like it's like, it feels like it's like the the cool kids club. I don't know. And I'm like, I'm cool by myself. I'm good. Um, and with my tour, I can go wherever the hell I want. And I could go over in the Midwest where the weather was really nice. Um, and my tour is also like six weeks long, not just a week. So yeah. I do love the R32. Someone said it gave him so many problems. That's why R32 isn't his fave. The R34 gave me a lot of issues at the start too. That car just needs true testing and tuning. And we weren't able to do that before we had to ship it out to Japan. And then the shop I was with, um, they weren't capable of doing, of taking care of a professional drift car. So there's just no way to do the actual test and tuning and get it, getting it working. Sim back in the States was still in Japan. Sim is still in Japan. I'm working on getting it back here. Um, R32 is in Japan. S13 is in Japan. 350Z is in Japan. It's, it's a bit of a mess. Because I, I honestly really thought I was moving my life out there. That was my plan. But, um, yeah, it failed. <laughs> but we tried. <laughs> um, why are most of your cars yellow, red, and blue? Um, wait, you're finding negatives in every suggestion people make when they're audience. I'm sorry if I'm doing that. I'm not trying to. Um, I, that wasn't my intent. Um, I feel bad about that. Yeah, that wasn't my intent. I'm maybe I'm still getting myself out of this funk, like I said, guys. That's an excuse, but I am trying to figure this thing, whole thing out, like mentally. Um, my cars are yellow, red, and blue because it's the primary colors, and those are that's like the theme for Hagen Racing. So it's kind of fun. Um, I'm not gonna start a GoFundMe. <laughs> Someone said that. I like. I'm not. I I don't like just taking people's money. It, it makes me uncomfortable. I I want to provide you guys with value. Um, or provide YouTube with value and, and get money from that, right? I think it would be best if you work your way up from the bottom again, go do grassroots stuff from the 13, get your technique down, then start moving to Pro-Am stuff again. Um, I was kind of there with you. I kind of thought I sucked at drifting after Japan because the people around me convinced me of that, but that's not the case. Like, go watch the tour videos. I'm a very good drifter. Do I have a lot to learn? Yes, but... Can I be competitive in a professional series? Absolutely. I just need a car that works and a team behind me. And getting a team assembled has been the hardest thing ever. So I don't think, to me, that's not necessary. Um, that would be, I already went on this tour and drifted with a bunch of different people. Um, and I did great. I was very competitive. So um, yeah, that's my opinion. But I appreciate you. Thank you, D'Angelo Lawson. Appreciate you. Thank you guys so much for the donations. Again, you guys can buy merch and then you actually get stuff. And our merch is really dope. Um, and that still really helps me. So just a side note. Um, what are you daily driving? <laughs> my Z was my daily driver. It's in Japan now. I don't have a car. <laughs> I've been driving my dad's truck around. <laughs> uh, Austin just responded to the question. Yeah. I was seriously saying, going back, going back to your roots, just kind of like, and that's, that's, that's why I really did enjoy the Drifting Across America tour because it was like all grassroots events. And when I was there, I was like, I wish I had like, like a stock Z. Um, like all the guys in stock Zs were just killing it. 
And I feel like that was, so I see what you're saying. I misinterpreted that. Yeah, no, that's, I think um, when we go and do some drifting, cause I, I won't be able, probably won't be able to afford to compete, but I think I'll be able to afford to do some, some fun events earlier on. Um, I think that's what I'd like to do. Just go do some fun events and kind of uh, just find the love for it again, you know? Are there any wacky engine swaps you've dreamed of doing? You know, there's, um, I mean, it's it's such like a pipe dream at this point, but I really wanted to put a V12 from Lamborghini Murcielago in my R34 sedan. At one point, I almost stole the engine from the Murcielago and put it in there, but I was like, it would just ruin the Murcielago. Um, that's kind of a dream swap of mine. I think that would be just so sick. I think that's like the sickest sounding V12 motor. Um, God, it's Tyler Clark. Thank you so much, dude. I, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, what's crazy. Like you guys have supported me and, and the team, all the guys I've been the team so much. And that's been some serious motivation and, and kept me going. Like it's, it's amazing to see it. And that was what was really fun about the tour too, is like meeting some of you guys in person. That was just amazing. Um, what happened to the RB Tacoma? Um, we had to stop that build because we realized we were going to FD Japan and we couldn't, I couldn't get the R34 over there. And so we had like the motor and turbo and a bunch of stuff in the Tacoma that would work perfectly for the R32 and FD. So we stopped that project, took everything and put it in the R32. Polaris SR20 swap the Lambo. <laughs> I would do a, you know what would be funny is um because everyone's doing the K swaps is to K swap the Lambo. That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> uh let's see. When the skits coming back? I don't know. I I think the skits would have to be like on their own channel. Um that was so much fun though. I really enjoyed doing the skits. Oh, all tracks, thank you for becoming a member, dude. I really appreciate you. Um how do we drive with you on a set of Corsa? So whenever I get the sim back, uh, I'll I'll get more active or get active again on the Discord. It's it's all on the Discord. We have like a little community there. It's kind of I kind of killed it because I stopped driving with everybody. But yes. Um, how do you pick a car number for FD? Like, what's the process? Um, you just pick it. Like, if it's available, you can have it, and then. Uh, if you had it last year, then you get to obviously get first picks on it the next year. But as far as like, that's like literal how you do it. Um, as far as the number, I mean, mine is just my birth year, 92. I didn't really, I don't know. I wanted 33. I always like was back and forth between 33 because that's my favorite number. Um, but I think like way back when I just started drifting, I couldn't get 33 for like Pro-Am or something. I did 92, so then I just kept it 92 going forward. I don't know, guys. I mean, maybe that's maybe that's enough. Um, again, I just wanted you guys, I just wanted to address all you guys and make sure you know that uh, like kind of what's going on that I'm not, I'm not gone, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna give this thing another run, um, but do it differently. So we'll do sim drifting, or sorry, do reactions, then do sim drifting. Um, and then get back to drifting in real life, uh, hopefully in the next like six months or year or so and get back to doing vlogs. But yeah, I just need to try something different and, uh, have a little bit more balance for myself. So that's kind of the biggest thing. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's a good time to edit. Appreciate all of you. Thank you guys. Um, for those of you that, that donated, that really means a lot. Thank you all tracks. Um, Damn, <laughs> that really means a lot to, to me. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. We'll see you soon. Stay tuned. We'll be back. Um, love all of you. Peace out. Thank you, David.